If you're hitting the bullseye squarely and you do that a hundred times, then you'll know that the arrow is not being shot by chance. So what is the explanatory filter? The filter is a user-friendly way of uh, detecting design, inferring design. So it's, it basically tries to encapsulate or capture this, this technology or statistical methodology that I've, that I've developed. And uh, it's got two uh, decision nodes. It basically asks, is it improbable and is it specified? And you need both improbability and specification. And so one way to see this is, you know, if you have a large wall and uh, you've got an arrow uh, that you're shooting at the wall, the arrowhead is very small, you know, it's very sharp tip. The precise place it's gonna land on the wall is gonna be highly improbable, but it's highly probable that it will land somewhere on the wall. So if you're just shooting at the wall, Highly improbable things are happening, but there's nothing there to tell you that it's happening for any reason other than chance. So how do you know that the arrow is not being shot by chance? Well, it's put a target on the wall and then shoot and hit the target. And if the target, uh, if you're hitting the bullseye squarely and you do that a hundred times, then you'll know that the arrow is not being shot by chance. So it's, you need this, convergence of small probability or improbability and this pattern or what I call a specification. And when those come together, that triangulates on design. So that's, that's the idea there. And uh, you, the, the pattern needs to though be the right sort of pattern. If for instance, you shoot at the wall and then you get out a bucket of paint and you draw a target around the arrow once it's sticking in the wall, there's not going to be any reason to think that it happened for any reason other than chance. So it's, you know, it needs to be the right sort of pattern. And that's, that's what this explanatory filter is saying. It's the right sort of pattern and specification. You've got the improbability. And when you have that, it, uh, you've, you, you nail down the design there. And so this applies in a lot of different situations. Uh, you know, I think a lot of examples of, you know, see a, you know, on a crime scene investigation will be of this sort, you know. I mean, even the very notion of uh, DNA forensic testing, you know, there's nothing that in a sense makes it impossible for two people to have the same DNA. It's just extremely improbable. But when they coincide, then one forms a pattern for the other. And that's why you can't, you know, if you find somebody's DNA or you find a certain pattern of DNA at a crime scene and you find that you take a blood sample from somebody and it's the same, pattern of DNA and you say it's that person you know so there's, there's no logical impossibility you know that it couldn't happen but uh, we say it's too improbable and you've got that pattern match and as a consequence it's uh, it's designed.